In this video, we're going to talk about lighting in Cinema 4D. We're going to talk about natural light first. So we're going to use the sun and the sky and also some additional parameters like the fog and some lens effect. And also how we can start to set up our render settings, which we'll use also in the rest of the video course. So let's get started here and create a, an exterior setup. So I'm going to use this um, scene that we used also previously. And of, of course now I can get rid of the fish which we use for a little bit of soft poly modeling and perhaps also this stuff here. I can delete it or I can hide it because when I need to render I will definitely uh, hide anything that I don't use because that's gonna slow down my render for no reason. So I'm going to add this to a new layer and turn this off uh, both in the viewport and in the render. I don't want to see this stuff except my small house that I'm trying to model here. Also, I will change the layer for this and apply it to this one here. Okay, well, that's good so far. Now, to create some... Well, of course, I'm going to get rid of this um, background, which is not needed anymore. So I will go to view settings here and just go to the background and deactivate that. Okay, I don't need any reference for this video. Just want to create a house. Now, pretty quickly, I can create here a something here to cover the this part of my building. So kind of a floor. So let me create just something real quick, like a cube, and I'm gonna place that right there, and scale it, well, create a nice dimension in here and place it right there. Now, I'm just doing everything pretty quick and not so precise because I don't need right now to be precise. I just want to do something real quick to show you. Okay. And so this is going to be like my top part for my uh, house and to be a little bit more precise, I can go here to the side view and slide this a little bit down. And I will take all this part and copy it over. So I'm going to take everything here, control and slide it on the top and also move it a little bit more. Well, make sure you don't leave any gap there. So, well, this is fine. Let me check this snapping option so I can be a little bit more, more free. Okay, and also using the polygonal modeling, I can do not only interiors as we did so far or furniture or furnishing, but I can also do exteriors. So think about windows and all that stuff. You can do it with the, with the same techniques that we used to create uh, interiors. Now, I want to increase here the segments on the X so I can use the extrude. So, like, I will convert this in editable, make editable, and select these two faces and then extrude them. So, select object, select faces, uh, live selection with the brush selection, and then control and I want to increase here a little bit and then with the points I'm going to go here in the side view and use the rectangle selection. Be, be sure that I uncheck visible only and then move this up. Well also I think I want to slide this little bit right here on the right and then select those points and do kind of a roof like that and well actually I will move both so I already have the possibility to extrude and then I will extrude 
So I will do the face selection and select all the faces except uh, this one here. So all control to deselect these ones. Okay. Well, actually, also the top one. I don't need that. And also, if you want to do realistic things, think about adding sweeps around these shapes and, of course, doors and windows. Now, I'm just doing an example here, just to show you how the lightning works. Now, I'm going to extrude this like that, okay? Just missing one last piece there. I don't want that at the bottom as well. And go back to the extrude and look how it's handy to create a nice... Um, roof here okay now you can also change here the oops I have another thing to deselect there so control okay and again let's extrude okay now should be fine now be sure that you are preserving groups otherwise this is gonna go all all the all around and also, I think I want to fix this a little bit. Let me show you where. So, okay, this is fine. Now I need to go in the view, in the side view, and I need to fix these points right there. Now, again, you can work precise. You can do this uh, just approximation with your eyes depends if you are in a rush or if you want to spend some time here and align those points but this will look fine in the render don't worry about it now we have the roof we have an exterior setup I can save my scene here and continue to work with lightning now let's go to create and here you will find a section called light you also have some other stuff here. For example, I can also add a floor, which is gonna place a floor. Now, I also copy this kind of balcony here, or terrace, uh, I make a copy. So it looks a little bit better, but this is just an example, of course. Now, if I run the render here, it's gonna look pretty flat and I don't see any light. Well, I, I do see something. So I have a standard lighting system if I don't use any light, so it will permit to see something, but it's not enough, of course. Now, let's go to create and start to add a simple light. Now, the simple light, it's actually a omni light, which, is, which means omnidirectional. Now, if you move this up, because it will always be placed on 0, 0, 0, and if it's gonna be uh, behind some object, you won't see that light in the scene so make sure that it's never inside an object or uh, behind so it's it's uh, it will be like occluded now here you can manage the light you can manage the color and all the stuff but well let's see another render here now again it's looking really flat it's looking shaded and a little bit different from before but the quality is still very low and flat and why is that because the other important setting you always need to remember when you use the lights, or any light, is to go here and activate the shadows. Shadows are really important. They will give you that extra real reality or realistic look that you need 